Blaze of Noon was a 1947 aviation adventure drama movie that tells about the early days of air mail operations. It's kind of an interesting premise with some exciting aerial footage mixed in, as well as plenty of drama too. The stars of the film are the four McDonald brothers, played by William Holden, Sonny Tufts, Sterling Hayden, and Johnny Sands. Ann Baxter stars as a love interest of William Holden, and William Bendix is also in the film as the character Porky. So the story is basically, the time frame is around the 1920s, and we have these four brothers, and initially they're part of this carnival as part of a stunt flying team. You know, they're doing all the crazy stuff in the air, and they eventually turn from the carnival life, and they get hired by... Mercury Airlines in Newark, New Jersey, and their job now is to fly airmail delivery for the airmail service. So it's kind of an interesting premise here. The character Colin, who is played by William Holden, he falls in love instantly with Lucille. This was Ann Baxter's character. And I mean, falls in love instantly and proposes to her literally in the same day, which yeah, seemed a little impulsive, but eh, okay. And the film does get a little bogged down in some of the drama as they marry and they're living together in the same house with all of his brothers together. And it was cool seeing Sterling Hayden play one of his brothers, a guy named Tad. I had seen him recently in the movie The Asphalt Jungle. And here, he's a little less cold and dead-eyed like he was in that crime noir film. But he does a good job playing uh, William Holden's brother. William Bendix is also in the film. He's another pilot who is working with this U.S. Air Service. I recently caught him and William Holden in the movie Submarine Command. So it's always cool to see the same actors paired again. And Bendix is, his character is something of a goof. And he does some daredevil stunts over the course of the film. And he does some stunts over a passenger train. And that winds up getting him into trouble. So the youngest brother, Keith, played by Johnny Sands, he dies early in the film in a crash. And then later, the character Tad is in a serious crash as well that leaves him unable to fly again. And it seems like for these U.S. mail delivery guys... It's the weather that's really the big part that causes these disasters. I mean, that makes sense. So as time passes, Colin and Lucille, they have a son. And Colin, who is more or less promised to stop flying once he became a father, well, he's offered a raise, so he continues to fly. And we see him flying in some crazy bad weather, and we're left wondering, what's going to happen? Well, you got to check out the film to find out. And... You know, I'll said this was an entertaining story of aviation and family drama sort of blended together. And I enjoyed it. It was really kind of neat. I mean, I guess you don't really think about the early days of air mail delivery. And this film involving these four brothers tells the story pretty good. And it's definitely one that I would say worth checking out.